Has life been unfair to you? Have you ever desired to reach a particular point or level in your life but don't know what is stopping you from getting there? Have you ever been put to shame because of the predicament surrounding your life? God is breaking every chain that has held you bound, every chain that has hindered you from achieving your goals and purpose in life, every chain that has held you captive and brought so much pain in your life. God is about to begin something new in your life. He is about to restore all the years you have wasted, and He is going to restore all you have lost. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, you are about to regain them in double folds this day in the name of Jesus. When you are being held in chains, nothing good will ever work for you. Life becomes so difficult for you, no matter the effort you put into it, to make your life easier. The devil wants to see your downfall. He does not want you to be successful, happy, or achieve anything good in your life. But the Lord is going to fight for you. The reason Jesus came to die on the cross of Calvary is to free us from every bondage and chain. Therefore, it is not the will of God that you be a captive or a slave to the devil. And that is why he is going to break every chain that has held you bound and he is going to transform your life beyond your wildest imagination. He will give you victory over the enemy and you will be victorious. Now you might be in chains and may not even be aware of it. So many people take life so casual that whenever things don't work as planned, they feel it is part of life and that it is their destiny, but that is a lie. God created you for greatness. He has a good plan and purpose for your life. His plans for your life are of good and not of evil that will bring you to unexpected end. He says eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and neither has the heart of man conceived that which God will do for you. Therefore, whenever you discover that things are not falling in the right place, you have to take it seriously because it could be that there are forces behind it. You have to understand that before a thing manifests in the physical, it has already taken place in the spiritual. That is why, as a child of God, you have to be fervent in prayer. You need to be grounded deeply in the Word of God. Always seek the face of God so that He can fight on your behalf. The enemy, which is the devil, will never stop until he sees that your life is finally destroyed. The Bible made us understand that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but principalities and power. And this battle is not won using physical weapons. If you must win, then you must stick with the Lord. Until you stop taking things casually, your life will never be set free by the enemy. Therefore, the first stage of being free from the chain of the devil is to be fervent in prayers. And as the saying goes, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. You might have all the qualifications you need to get a beneficial job that should make your life comfortable, but you discover that no organization wants to employ you. You have gone for so many interviews, but there is nothing to show for it. Beloved, you might be under chains, and if a breakthrough must come, then you must be free of chains. That is why you need God. If you are not progressing in life, it is not the time to question God or wallow in pain. Rather, it is time to fight in the place of prayers. One thing I am sure of is that the only way to win is through the help of God. And once He set you free from chains, things will start falling in place in your life. You will not have to struggle for a job because the job will come naturally to you. When you are free from chains, you will not struggle in life. Anything you put your hands on shall be blessed and you will do exploit. However, when you are living in sin, God cannot fight for you because you belong to the devil. Light and darkness have nothing in common, and if you want to be helped by the light, you have to flee from every form of darkness. Sin is what makes the devil dare to chain you, but when your ways are right before the Lord, he will shield you from the devil, and he will not have any access to chain you. However, it is not too late to make things right. The Bible says, even though your sins are black as charcoal, the Lord will make them as white as snow. God did not come to the world to condemn it, 
Rather, He came to restore it. And when you have given your life to Christ, ensure that you don't go back to your old way of life because old things are passed away and all things have become new. You might be experiencing delays in your life. Maybe you want to marry and settle down, but no one wants to marry you. All your friends are married and there is a lot of pressure from family and friends asking to marry, but there is no one willing to settle down with you. It could be that you are in a chain because when you are under the chain, things will never work well for you. But God is about changing that situation. He is breaking every chain in your life, and whatever has caused a delay in your life is broken this day in the name of Jesus. He is going to set you free from the bondage of the enemy and your life is about to take a new turn. All those that have mocked or laughed at you will be put to shame because God is about to do a new thing in your life. You will not only get married, but you will marry the right person. Your home is going to be the center point of admiration by others, and the problems and challenges that people experience in marriage will not come near your home. It could be that you have been battling a particular sickness, and there is no good explanation of it. You may have been suffering from it for a long period, and it looks like it is never going to leave you. The doctors may have said there is no hope for you anymore, but I want you to put your trust in the Lord. He is breaking that chain of sickness in your life. Whatever has caused you your comfortability and your body is destroyed. When the Lord sets you free, you will experience divine health in your body. God has already paid the price for you on the cross of Calvary. By His stripes, you were made whole. Therefore, it is an error for you to be sick. God will fight for you, and if God is the one fighting for you, be assured that victory is sure. Therefore, do not give up on God because He won't give up on you. Put your complete trust in Him because He will never put you to shame. He is going to bring peace and health to your life in the name of Jesus. Yours may be a family issue, like your family is under a generational course. Maybe nobody in your family reaches a particular age, or it could be that none of you can marry, be successful, or have children. The Lord is setting you and your entire family loose from that chain in the name of Jesus. You will not die before your time. You will live to declare every word of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Whatever covenant your parents, grandparents, or forefathers entered, and it is affecting you and your family, the Lord is about to lose you and your family from such covenant in the name of Jesus. You will never experience death or barrenness because when God is involved in your life, the devil will never have his way. Your life is taking a new turn because God is about to do something new in your life. He is going to surprise you beyond your wildest imagination. He is going to make a way for you where there seems to be no way. He is going to set you free and you will never have any cause to worry again in the name of Jesus. All you need to do is ensure that your ways are right before the Lord. Do not allow the devil to deceive you that God cannot help you. Hold on to him and get to know him more. Always try to develop your relationship with him through prayers and studying his word. His word is a sword that is sharper than two-edged swords. It is your greatest weapon of war. Your life will never be the same because God is about to do a new thing in your life.